Hello guys, I am the Pomegranate Lover, and I'm here bringing you the first episode of the Ship Single Player Walkthrough. So this is a series, um, my single player series, which was, uh, excuse me, single player game, which was made as a sort of a sequel to the multiplayer game The Ship. Uh, both of these games were released in 2006 by Outer Light, uh, but the company is no longer, no longer together. So, this is a, the ship is basically a, uh, sort of a simulation, kind of murder FPS mixed in there kind of game, <clears throat> where you are given one person to kill and somebody else is given you as their person to kill. So, you have to kill your quarry, which is the person you have to kill, as well as being avoided for killing your hunter. So I'm going to go right ahead and start the ship. So uh, it's a bit of a kind of cutscene in the beginning, so I'm just going to be up, uh, kind of quiet throughout that. Um, but once it starts, um, I hope you enjoy it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, one and all. I am Mr. X, and if you'll be good enough to listen for a moment, I can explain all the commotion. I'm afraid it seems the Northern Star has gone missing, with all hands on board. That's terrible. But what's tragic is we are thousands of miles away from our reported position. So there'll be no rescue, no help arriving. There's just you and me. And the little game we're going to play. A game which will decide how you get off the ship. Each of you has been paired with another guest, hunter and hunted. Track down your quarry, but beware, another is tracking you. Fight or die, kill or be killed. What better sport could you wish for? Oh, I hear your whines and cries. Be silent. For those too weak to take the challenge, the sharks may have use of you. Cause I have none. But for the strong, the mighty, the players, there'll be rich rewards for the champion. The rules are simple. You'll be given the name of another passenger on board and asked to kill them. But favor me a small indulgence whilst you're at it. Try and rise above the mundane of the shoot and stab. There's plenty of weaponry aboard. The money for kills table will show you what each weapon is worth to you. Take the opportunity to be an artist in the abattoir, a Michelangelo of mayhem. I'll take my leave of you now. But I will pop back from time to time to check on your progress. It's been a long day. I advise you to get some sleep. You need to stay fit for the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. Please try and avoid killing any of my crew if you can help it. Those uniforms are not cheap. So there you go. That was Mr. X. So we're going to have to go and find our quarry. So as you can see, in the top left is us, as well as where we are, how much cash we have, and how much money we have in the bank. At the bottom right, we have our quarry, or what we're going after, not specifically the quarry, uh, the name of that person or thing, and their current location. And then here we have this little green circle, I mean uh, green eyeball. Now, if that's green, that means you're okay to take out your weapons, but if it's red and you take out your weapons, you'll be arrested and sent into the brig. So what we want to do is find a weapon to kill our quarry with. Now, 
our quarry is right here. As you can see, that is Maggie Matcherson. But we need a weapon to kill her with. So we're going to have to go ahead. Uh, here is usually a good spot to find a weapon. You have a wide variety. And you usually want to use the weapon that gives the most money. So you can press M to see which weapon gives the most money. Um, and I have the Cutthroat Razor right now, which is the fourth from the top. I'm going to go ahead. As you can see, it's uh, we're in the green, literally. So let's go ahead and finish her off. Yes. Oh, Hey, buddy, over here. Now this is Jimmy, so let's go talk to Jimmy the bellboy. You greased that mark sweet, liking your moves. I got the skinny for you, bud. This cruise is a one-way ticket, if you know what I mean. Mr. X, he don't like no loose ends. At the end of the game, everybody dies. Now, I can get you out of here for a price. 100 large buys your passage off this hell ride. But first things first, we gotta get that target off your back. I know who's got your number in the game. She's a dame. Looks like butter wouldn't melt, but she'd plug you for a nickel. So, here's the plan. You find some patsy, a, a, a fall guy. Inject him with a sleeping potion and follow him till he crashes. You drop me the location and I'll tell her that's you. She whacks the sap, and you're in the clear. So, basically what he's saying is we have to find somebody who looks like us, or our doppel doppelganger, if you will, and inject them with a sleeping medication, some sort of sleeping liquid potion, to make him fall asleep. Then he will tell uh, our quarry <clears throat> that that is us. So she will go after and kill him and think that she's already killed her quarry, but actually, we're still roaming free. She's not gonna win. So the sleeping potion is here, if you can follow my path of where I'm going, into the sick bay. It's into this corner with the, you know, chemical waste bin. I'm not sure why that's here. And then, once you grab it, you find that you can head in into that museum to find the doppelganger. And as you can see, he not only wearing our similar clothes, but he looks pretty similar too. So what we need to do is find an area that's in the green, so that camera over there needs to be not looking at us. And what we need to do is... There you go. Oh, and I got arrested. Well, that is not what you want to do. And that's a good example of what happens yes. when you get into the red mm. with a weapon. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to have to try again, but while I'm here, I want to show you a bit around jail. Jail is a good spot to fill up your needs, so you can sleep here, you can use the restroom, you can eat and drink. Uh, generally, prison is a good spot to again, fill up your needs, you see all your needs by pressing N. Uh, but otherwise, you'll only see needs that are uh, in imminent need of being attended to. So it's important to constantly check your needs to make sure you're not going to starve to death or get bored and kill yourself. So now we have to go back to the, the sick bay to get the sleeping potion. And now that we know not um, to stand in front of the camera while we're killing him, hopefully we'll make it again this time. Here we go. Here's the sleeping potion. So let's head on back to the museum on deck D, which is the deck we're on. Uh, another quick tip, you can press P to see the map, and you can cycle through all the floors. You can find specific information, for instance, the hospital, which is where we are, the sick bay, and uh, food, you know, um, banks, things like that. And that will tell you where they are and on, which, on what floor they are, they're on. So we have our our syringe here. We're gonna have to find our doppelganger, which is right here, and make sure that we're in the clear. So, any cameras? <laughs> there we go. We made it this time. So he's hiding from us, and hopefully soon he'll fall asleep. He's gonna fall asleep. 
There we go. All right, buddy. Thanks a lot. So, now we got to go back to Jimmy. So Jimmy can tell our hunter that I, that guy, just sitting and standing up in the museum. Just chilling, you know, hanging out in the museum, sleeping because it's so boring. Oh, hello there, Jimmy. Let's have a chat. Good work. Now, you got to get me the money, and fast. <laughs> Should be a snap for a button man like yourself. This barge is thick with swells, high rollers with fat wallets. There's even a bank on board to keep them stacked with green. Now here's a couple of names of fellers who are looking for some muscle. Go see Bruno first and tell him Jimmy sent you. Yeah, <laughs> that's me, Jimmy. You need me and I'm here. Good luck, buddy. All right, so we have to go see Bruno the barman who's on deck B. Now, one of the fastest ways to get to Bruno I personally like is to go that way and go into the elevator. But first, it's gonna need. Uh, we are going to need a better weapon than this empty syringe. So I'm gonna go ahead and check back into these lockers because they're usually stocked quite nice, <coughs> nicely with you know a variety of different weapons. Um, here we have a revolver. That's quite nice. Uh, Tommy gun. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these guns, as well as grabbing this, uh, it's called the wallet bomb, which is an explosive, as you can guess, and the revolver, because guns and bombs are easy weapons. There's much less risk of being caught by either a security guard or a camera, because they're usually you know, detonated from a distance. So I'm going to go ahead and ride the elevator up. And you see here is my quarry. Now, I don't know if she killed Doppelganger, I can't see the dead body, but I'm going to hope so because I don't want her coming after me. So, as you can see on the bottom right, the barman is Deck B, the Vesuvius bar, so we're going to head up to Deck B in the elevator. With some nice chill music to guide us in the background. So now, this is the Sant Santorini restaurant, and to get to the bar from here, we simply follow this hallway and end up at the bar. Some nice seating tables, and we have Bruno. So let's Bruno give Bruno a bit of talking. Bonjour, mon ami. You've the look of one who lacks the easy money. I have a cunning plan. When I spy a rich patron at the bar <coughs> throwing their money about the wink, I will be tipping you. Follow them to somewhere quiet, then... Bish bosh! I ask no questions. You steal their wallet. Half it is for you, half it is for Bruno. But don't think you will be tricking Bruno. Oh no! I'll have you thrown into the brig! Now, take a seat at the end of the bar and wait for my signal. So be it, Bruno. So what you want to do here is sit at the bar, and uh, one of these groups of people sitting at these tables will come up to the bar. Bruno will look at you, and you'll have to follow them, and murder them, steal their wallet, and then pay Bruno. So, let's see how that goes the first time, and then you have to repeat that for all of these people here sitting at the tables. So, usually they go into these bathrooms, um, a lot of them go the other direction to, say, the games room, which is the other way. Uh, so in this situation, I'm going to go ahead, grab the Tommy gun, and shoot this guy as he's... <laughs> there we go. Uh, now you want to grab his wallet, go ahead and go back to Bruno to pay him half the money that we received. To do that, you don't want to talk to him, you want to right-click him, pay this amount right here. You could pay this much, but it does the same as paying him, you know, half that amount. And, um, that way you'll have more money to pay Jimmy. Tommy Dable! I knew you were the one for the job! Take a chair. I'll serve you up another victim. Too sweet. So what we want to go and do is to sit back and have a seat. Yet another victim will come wandering up, waiting to be murdered. Let's 
Let's go. So I believe this woman goes into the library or some sort of what area. Was that? Yeah, hey. oh, that's nothing, hey. So we're gonna follow her. I mean, I don't know how she doesn't notice us, but we're right here. So this is the library. There's no cameras in here, so it's safe to just grab your gun, pull it out, and make sure you grab her wallet, and then head on back to see Bruno. Now another funny kind of little thing here is, if you notice, these guards what was that? no pupils. Hey. Maybe that's why they're so ignorant as to uh, all my nothing. murdering going on around here, huh? Can't see, damn thing. So we're gonna go ahead and pay Bruno yet again. Formidable! I knew you was the one for the job! Take it, yeah. We have I'll three serve more you up people. another Two victim. Too sweet. Here we have our octagonal stool. And we have our other victim coming up to visit Bruno. Mm -hmm. And we're off. So let's follow this woman. I believe she goes into the woman's restroom, which is going to be kind of odd. Now you think that bring up suspicion, a man going into the woman's restroom, but who knows? Who am I to judge, right? So as soon as she heads in here, let's pull out our Tommy gun. Get her done. She's just walking like she didn't just get shot. And there we have it. Grab the wallet. Head on back to see Bruno. Go ahead and pay him. Formidable! I knew you were the one for the job. Take it, yeah. I'll serve you up another victim. Too sweet. Let's head out. Now, this victim specifically goes into the games room, which is this room right here. So let's go ahead, grab our gun, and finish her off as she plays pool. And go ahead and pay Bruno for the second to last time as our last victim. Waits patiently for Call me Dable! I knew you were the one for the job! Take it, yeah. I'll serve you up another victim. Too sweet. And we're off yet again. Hey, buddy. Nothing suspicious going on over here. Now, this woman goes into the Santorini restaurant, which is that area right over there. Let's go ahead. Once we get in here, hopefully they won't... Oh, no, no. She bypasses the restaurant. Heads out here. Is that how it works? Yep. So once we get out here, pardon me. Go ahead and grab the wallet and back to see you for the last time. Can't murder anybody else when no, there's nobody to be murdered. Poor guy. Killing all of his customers. And here we go for the last Call me Dable! I knew you was the one for the job! Enough, my greedy little friend. Les flics. The guards are getting suspicious. What was That's that? Huh? I have a second guard uh, coming and patrolling. So, uh, that combined with the lack of customers, we can no longer fill. But that's the end of this episode, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a rating if you did. And uh, feel free to subscribe uh, or comment, anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and end off the video. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.